Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to learn how to add moments uh, caused by couples. So we can call this the addition of couples. So first of all, we have uh, two forces. They're equal in magnitude, opposite in direction. They're acting along this plane. Of course, any two vectors act in, acting in opposite directions will always form a plane between them. And then the vector R is the vector between the two points at which the two forces are acting. Now we can say that the moment caused by this couple, the moment, let's call m sub 1, is simply equal to r multiplied via the vector product with f1. And that, that will give us a moment, and let me draw it like this. So there's the moment. Let's call this moment 1. All right, now what happens when we have two different vectors still along the same plane at a slightly different angle? So let's draw those. So let's draw vector f2. Notice it's still in the same plane as f1. And so let's call this vector f2. And let's call the equivalent vector in the opposite direction. Let's call this negative f2. And so you can see that f2 and negative f2 also form a couple. The distance between the two line of action will be somewhat different though. You can see that the distance between the two lines of, between the two lines of actions of f1 and f negative f1 is not the same as the distance between the two lines of action between f2 and negative f2 so let's illustrate that so this here would be the distance so if we draw a line perpendicular here this here would be the distance d1 and this here if we draw a line this way a line this way this here would be the distance d2. You can see that d1 and d2 will not be equal to one another. All right, but that's not what we're after here. We're trying to add the couples. And so let's draw the m2, or at least write the equation for m2. So m2 would be equal to r. It would be the same r multiplied times f2. Now you say, okay, how can you have the same r for both uh, couples and for both moments well the reason is that the angles between r and f1 is different than the angle between r and f2 so therefore it works out anyway so now the question is how do you add the moment how do you add m1 plus m2 so let's call it m total m total is equal to the sum of m1 and m2 so since m1 and m2 are vectors you can simply add the vector sum so let's draw m2 i need a different color for that uh, let's here I like this color right here so let's draw uh, m2 so this here is m2 now hmm wait a minute would m2 be pointing in the same direction as m1 that would not be the case would it it cannot be the same direction because the direction of f2 and negative f2 are different so let's say that this here would be m2 so let's get, get rid of that here so this would be m2 Notice that both m1 and m2 are indeed vectors. That means they both have an x, y, and z component. So which means that if we write m1 is this, m1 can be written as m1 in the x direction, the x component, plus m1 in the y direction, that would be the y component, plus m1 in the z direction, that would be the z component. And let's say that m2 is equal to m2x in the x direction, plus m2y in the y direction, plus m2z in the z direction. And then, of course, if we're going to add the two together, we can then say that m total, which is simply equal to the sum of the two moments, that would be equal to the sum of the x components, plus the sum of the two y components, plus the sum of the two z components. Like that. Now, another way of looking at it is we can say, well, we can also write like this. We can say that the total, m total, is equal to, m total is equal to m1 plus m2. And of course, m1 can be written as this. It would be equal to the position vector multiplied via the vector product with f1 plus the position vector multiplied by with f2 and so this can then be written as r 
multiply it times the sum of F1 and F2, like that. Which means that if you want to find the sum of a couple, what you can do is you can simply add the two vectors together, F1 and F2. Let's do that. So we can go ahead and draw a parallelogram with straight lines. There we go. And there we go. So this here can now be considered the sum F1 plus F2. And then if we simply use that vector as driving the couple, that's not the right way to say it. Then if we use this vector, and then of course the negative vector on the other side, so this here would be the negative F1 minus F2. So then you can say that these two sums then form a new couple, which then forms the sum of the two original couples. So in other words, we can find the total couple or the sum of the two couples by simply adding the two vectors together and then multiplying times the position vector between them or we can simply calculate the moments independently of each of the two couples and then simply add them vectorial like that as well. So either method works. So that is how we do the addition of couples. That's how it's done.